That was like, holy cow, man. Yeah, I mean, how was, uh, did he leave his skate guards on? He got kidding me with like two other three guys that played in the I know you got more money than... Yeah, I was going to say. Just like... <laughs> <Is it awesome? laughs> so, we were playing, we were playing here. Welcome yes. back to this week's episode of Crash Course, a hockey podcast. This is episode 22. Can you believe it's been that long? I can't. Or can I? I'm your host, Alex Sherman. As you can see, Mr. Corey Heon is nowhere to be found. He's on vacation again. So this week we have a, a couple of new segments that we're throwing your way. Should be fun, but uh, there's a couple things we need to cover first. Um, this weekend we have the Futures Camp uh, here in El Paso. So it'll be uh, 2005 to 2010 birth years. Uh, forwards, defensemen, and goalies. Um, we're really looking forward to it. I know we've talked about it the last couple of podcasts, but um, you know, finally it's upon us. We're finally working on practice plans. We're getting back on the ice. It's been a month or so since I've skated. Hopefully, I uh, stretch enough before so you know I don't hurt myself uh, out there with those young kids. Um, and, for but, the, and for some of those young kids out there, what kind of advice can you give them? You know, if they're watching the podcast, and I would say, come in, play your game. Don't be nervous. We're all here to have fun. We're here to work hard. We're here to learn. Um, you know, it's a little bit different of a camp than normal um, because the coaches are going to be on the ice for most or pretty much every session um, between the goalies and the players. We're not just sitting in the stands like a normal tryout camp. Um, we're actually interacting with the players, helping, coaching, teaching, um, which is good for us. And then it's, you know, it's, it's really good for the players as well. And where can people find up, uh, updates about what's happening with you know the uh, you know, NA three you know team and all this all this information? Where can they keep updates? Uh, uh, El Paso Rhinos NA three dot com um, or the El Paso Rhinos dot com. Uh, those are the two websites between the North American team and the NA three. Another place to stay updated with uh, current happenings in Rhino Country. Uh, check out our social media: Instagram, Facebook, uh, X, wherever you find your social media. Do we have a TikTok? I don't even know. We have two TikToks. Oh, we're ticky tocky in. Perfect. There you go. Yep. Both of them. Um, hopefully, I mean, we don't know. I think in the latest news, TikTok may get banned. We don't know. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah so we Am may, I that out of the loop? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we, oh. we, we may not have TikTok for Wonderful. much longer, but we do have both NA3 and an NA TikTok that Perfect. Mr. Ryan takes care of. I don't have TikTok, but I bet that's fun. So you should go check it out. We have a couple of viral videos. Nothing too crazy. Oh, viral. Mm-hmm. We also have one for this podcast. Uh, Crash, uh, Corey Heon, Crash Course, a hockey, a hockey podcast. It's a la, 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 la. Words are hard, buddy. hard, huh? Words yeah, are hard. Yeah, I'm sitting up here and you're giving me a hard time about it. No, you're doing a great job. Yeah. I think the viewers are going to appreciate you taking your time to come out here and, you know, try to talk to us. And You know, I try. I'm no. trying. It's it's trying. It's, I, I, I know, think everyone's I, I give that. I give Corey some credit because this isn't easy to sit up here and pretend like uh, you know what you're talking about and whatnot so pretend huh wow throwing shots shots, at, fired. <laughs> shots have been fired at Corey. what else do we have on the agenda today um the north american hockey league uh draft is coming up here in a couple weeks so i know uh mike our gm and coach coombs have been working hard trying to uh, find the right players for that so that's exciting um you'll be able to follow that on natv.com com nahltv.com um and then probably follow along on our social media as well um when that happens on the 12th awesome and i think we have a cool announcement we had a guest jennifer Hahn, on a couple of episodes ago and i believe that we're going to try to have her sister on stephanie Hahn. what information do you have about her uh all i have is that she has a fight coming up at the coliseum july 27th um and I think it's going to be a victory for her. So I think she just know. won her, her past fight a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, I think she's on a roll here. I think we're going to have her on the podcast very soon. I, good luck to her. Good luck to yeah, good, everyone there. I think it's going to be a fun event. I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to try and see if I can't uh, get, score some free tickets. Coliseum. There you go. Um, it's in our parking lot for all the viewers out there. So we're in the same parking lot as the Coliseum. Right across from the zoo. All right, here we are with our new segment called Sherm's Shots, where Sherm takes shots at pop culture. (laughs) 
awesome. Okay, so I know you don't have you don't have, you haven't seen this list of you know anything nope. that we have we're about it to talk about. It makes me a little bit nervous. To right? Be no, it's gonna be fun though. I think this is you know a different cool segment that we can ha- have whenever you're the host. Interesting. Host is with the mostest. There you go. All right, hot take, hot shot with Sherm. <laughs> Skinny jeans are still stylish. That has not ever been the case. They, have they ever been stylish? Well, I, for- I could swear I saw you ripping around the rink with some skinny jeans. I think they were ripped too. I mean, deep dish pizza is the best pizza. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. I uh, lived in Chicago the last 12 years, moved down here, and I couldn't disagree with that anymore. Tavern style Chicago is the best Chicago pizza, but Detroit style is number one. I think people forget that you're also or you're an egg chef, still a chef. What's up with that? I was in, I was a chef for quite a few years in Chicago. So look at you cooking it up yeah. over here, cooking up this podcast and yeah. meals at home. You cook at home? No, a wow. microwave and air fryer, but I don't cook. We, we'll need to have another Every, segment with you where you, where you cooking, come on here and you cook. Should we do yes. a Should we do a cooking segment? I, drop a comment. Sherms, drop a comment. Yeah, yeah. Sherms. Come up with a name for it, too. Ooh, that's a really um, good contest. This is uh, Coach Ed Fritz, who will be on the ice with us this weekend here at Futures Camp. He will be uh, running the goalie sessions. Hot take. Uh, big Edmonton injury going to lead to a quick series for Florida win. Ooh. That's what I got. Hot take. I like Hot it. Take. You heard it here first. Big heard- Edmonton injury incoming. Florida is too tough. Florida's too tough. Hashtag too tough. I love it. Hey, I got a question for you, Fritzy. Um, okay. Is Chicago style deep dish pizza the best kind of pizza? I think that's a very personal question if you ask me. <laughs> well, I don't want you to dive too much into your personal life, but if you could just give me your opinion on it, what do you think? Is it the best kind? That's what the question is. No. No? It is not. What is the best it's kind not. of pizza? Detroit style pizza. Detroit style. There we go. All right. So I got two on board Detroit with that. Style. Yeah, there you go. I had a kid. Love it. Yeah, Chicago's good, but you gotta get it from the right spot. There's too many, uh, too many imitators out there. My question to you now is: Chicago tavern style pizza or Chicago deep dish? The thin crust versus the deep dish. What are your thoughts? Oh man, uh, depends on the day. Shoot, uh, if, you, if you're talking about like random day, I'm just like, oh, I want a pizza tavern style. All yeah, day. all day. Some jardinier on there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Some sausage. Oh, yeah. No, it, the, the deep dish, you got to be in a mood, man. You got to, like, seek it out from, like, a hole-in-the-wall spot and, like, get a real legit one. But then you got food for a week because you eat one piece and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm good. Like, that's my dinner. Do you eat it with a knife and a fork? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, that's all we have Don't time for here, Fritzy. It was good talking to you. I'll see you soon, buddy. Have a good one. Take care. Right, Love ya. That was Eddie Fritz, the uh, goalie coach this weekend for the Futures Camp. Looking forward to having him uh, back in town and on the ice with me. Um, thanks for everyone for watching uh, episode 22 of uh, Crash Course Podcast. Uh, you know, it's been fun pretending to be Corey Heon and uh, hosting the show today. Take care, comb your hair, and keep your stick on the ice.